Welcome back to the DYS F4 video series. Look in the description below where you will find a link to the playlist. Now let's talk about how to wire in a PPM receiver to this flight controller. And for this example, I'll be using the FreeSky D4R2, but this also works for the FreeSky XSR. Um, if you didn't already know, the pin on this outside edge is the SBUS pin, but the pin right to the, on the right side of that is the PPM pin. So you could use this. This also works on the Turnergy receivers, the FlySky receivers, and uh, I don't, I haven't tried any Spectrum products, but I would imagine it's going to be the same exact wiring and setup. So your wiring will probably look something similar to this. This plugging tour does not have a dedicated PPM pin, but I did find that it does support PPM through uh, this jumbled up set of pads over here. I found that whenever I was tracing pins and pads to the processor to figure out where everything was going. So on this row of pads on the right side, it's going to be the one in the very middle. Out of the five pins, it's going to be the third pin from the top or bottom, whichever way you look at it. Actually, let me hold it for you like this because this is how the wiring diagram is set up. So we've got the PPM pin soldered on. These two pins on top are ground pads or pins. These two pins are ground pins. Uh, one row down, both of these are power pins with 5 volts, and both of these are 5 volt pins as well. So you can pick and choose whatever pins you want for 5 volts and ground. So now we all should have uh, power, ground, and the PPM pin going to this pad here. Next, you need to bind your receiver. If you don't know how to bind your FlySky, uh, Turnergy, or uh, FreeSky receivers, look in the description. I'll leave you links to my playlist where I show you how to bind your receiver. Though I will say if you are using a Turnergy or FlySky receiver, I already made a separate video just for you guys, and we use iBus instead of SBus, and there's absolutely no reason to use PPM. Once again, look in my DYS F4 playlist where you'll find that video. So now let's move on. I'm going to plug in a USB cable to the flight controller. I'm also going to plug in a LiPo battery because the USB does not provide 5 volts to any of the 5 volt pins. Telemetry recovered. Now I am getting power to my receiver and uh, the solid green light meaning I have properly bound it and everything is working. If you're not getting the solid green light, then go back, watch my video on how to bind it. If uh, it's still not binding, you're getting something different. You may have to change the firmware of your receiver, and I have videos showing you how to do that as well. Now let's go into Betaflight, Connect, go to Configuration, scroll down, and make sure you have under Receiver Mode, PPM RX Input selected, and then Save and Reboot. Now reconnect, go to the receiver tab, move your sticks around, and uh, they should all be moving on your screen. You can also test out any switches if you have created any, and everything's good. So that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.